Thank you. The movie starts we are shown father and son those are sitting on the boat at that time and catching alligators in. Then the son goes to the shore for the toilet when he returns he discovers that his father has been murdered but before understanding anything about this situation someone comes from behind and cuts him into two pieces only with his hands after this we are shown Ben who came to a festival with some of his friends recently his seven-year-old friend ditched him he was quite upset because of it he came to that festival only to forget her but there were more girls at the festival he was missing her even more by looking at them there he heard from someone about the haunted swarm too and he plans to go there marcus from his friends who is unwilling to go with him both of them go to the shop where these tools were conducted the owner of the shop tells that he does not do tours any more the reason for this is that it is not allowed to go there but he tells them the address of another shop which was still doing this too they taking the address they go to that shop and they meet a boy andrew who manages such tool and at the same time there are two models both of them were going on the tour with their director after the tickets both of them sit in tone to bus there were more people who were going on the tour andrew drives the bus to take the swamp and all the people go there and sit in the boat andrew starts the boat and takes all of them with him then from far away distance man shouted and tries stopping them from going there but they ignore him as crazy man and move on to their journey andrew gave them a swamp to there and since it was a haunted tour so he was also trying to scare them all they see a house on the edge of the swarm andrew tells them that this house belongs to the urban legend victor crawley he tells victor crawley was very ugly because of this his father himself killed him with the help of a hatchet and even today crawley cries for his father in this forest then mary beth says that both this house and the story he was narrating are fake the then after going some distance their boat is trapped in big stones all those people try removing those stones suddenly it starts raining even after trying so much from those people the boat does not move from its place and after a while the boat starts to drown now those people were stuck there then jim climbs a tree and tries to reach the edge but his foot absolutely in front of them and to reach the road they have to cross the house of crowley they hear a very fearful voice while walking nobody wanted to go towards that house but the condition of jim was deteriorating then shannon takes him alone and moves towards that house as soon as they both reach near the house victor crawley comes out of the house by hitting hatchet badly he divides jim into two pieces shannon tries to run away but victor crowley also catches her and kills her badly this scene is quite disturbing everyone else runs away after seeing her but mary beth seems to be able to shoot her when victor crawley moves towards her she shoots him down and she runs away from him too they are all reunited but there was no dug between them in another scene we are shown dog who is running alone running away he gets a bump too victor and victor crawley kill him too by twisting his neck on the other hand they were all trying to escape but after a lot of tries they again and again come front of that house mario bait then goes to the house to find some weapons and ben goes along with her also your mary beth gets the dead body of his father and his brother are after seeing though she feels disturbed seeing dead in such a painful way she weeps a lot on the other hand they get a voice of someone in bushes marcus checks it is a small child of a wild animal and then they become relaxed that's when crawley comes there and take the model jenna he runs and uses the belt sander machine on her face seeing crawley maribeth's blood boils gets out of her control and attacks him with which he falls down ben pulls my abate and takes her from there by taking advantage andrew tries to finish the crowley but crowley ruthlessly cuts off his head and he dies in a very painful way jenna still had a few breaths left but victor crawley does not give any chance of living to her end he killed her in a very bad way by now they all knew that they could not escape from here that's why they plan to kill crawley ben tells them he saw containers a fuel in crowley's house they can burn him and kill him with fuel they all move towards his house outside marcus and Rebate tried to get Crowley's attention. And during this time Ben finds fuel. 
There on the other hand the model Misty is guarding the outside bend finally gets. A fuel can at the same time various body. Parts Misty fall on him Victor Crawley. Shows up at the door Mario Bait follows. Behind to stab Victor Crowley Ben seizes. The chance to shovel Victor Crowley with. The gasoline Victor Crowley throws. Murray Bait aside and she evades through. The door right now only Victor Crawley. Remains in a house Ben quickly throws. In the fire starter setting Victor. Crowley in blazing fire however when the three survivors feel relieved there is a thunder roll the heavy rain extinguishes. Victor Crawley as fire Ben almost breaks. Down in such a twist time is not on. Their side the trio have to run with all their might and string they reach a graveyard based on Murray Beta's faint memory as long as they cross the graveyard they will return to the city. Following the direction of the iron bars they come to the main gate but Victor Crawley again shows up out of thin air. Standing in their way he throws away the aches and clamps down on Ben Moyabate. Kicks him away but Victor Crawley gets hold of Marcus' leg then Moyabate steps and tramples on Victor Crawley his wounds. Causing him tremendous pain finally he lets go off Marcus' legs the three manage to break away and hide behind a wall Marcus thinks that Victor Crowley would stop the pursuit right after that. Victor Crawley grabs Marcus' arms and breaks then Marcus' blood splashes on the stone statue Victor Crawley then removes an iron bar from the main gate and flings it to hit Ben's hit within a pro. Victor Crawley charges at them Mario Bate helps to position the iron bar in such a way that it stops into Victor. Crawley in a pinch Victor Crawley stops moving and spits out the blood at Ben's face Ben and Mario Bate think that Victor Crowley should have already died and slowly walk away they find a boat floating on the water surface and row it to leave the deadly zone in peaceful. Moonlight Mybate breaks down in bitter. Cries for those who are killed Ben. Consoles her that at least they have. Survived however at this time Victor. Crawley pops up and pulls Smile Bait. Into the water Moybate fights against him desperately and tries to get back to the boat with Ben's help when Moybate is about to go on board she sees Victor. Crawley seated on the boat and Ben is almost dying beside him the film ends with Mayabate's desperate screens.